The amendment I will be covering today is the 13th Amendment, one of our most important amendments, period. It freed all slavery, including indentured servants. So um, if you didn't work, you would become a slave until you paid off your work and slavery outright. So African-American slaves, which America had, it got rid of all of it. There were no more slaves whatsoever, which was incredible because... At the time, slavery was such a staple of America. I mean, almost every other country got rid of slavery, but America. I mean, we held on to it for so long, and it was just due time that we got rid of it. Like One of the leading causes of the 13th Amendment was the Civil War. Um, we were fighting for slavery to be abolished against the South. The Confederates, the Confederates believed they, that like, slaves were very important. Um, they wanted, they wanted to keep slaves because slaves were a source of money and profit. I, they did all the farming, housekeeping, and all these rich men, they believe like, no, we need these slaves because who will do the work for us? They didn't want to pay people. I mean, it, it was just such a cheap way of labor. Just all you'd have to do is buy them. You didn't need to pay them and you could feed them occasionally. And it was just so simple for them, but it was just so cruel and inhumane that they did this. And many people believe that it was just outright and it was cruel and it should not be a thing. So the Civil War started because of this. Union wanted to abolish slaves. The Confederates didn't. Not all of the Union did, but a majority did rule over that they wanted the slaves gone. Um... And then in 1863, Abraham Lincoln wrote the Emancip Emancipation Proclamation, which was the stepping stone for the 13th Amendment, which really um, engraved it that the 13th Amendment was going to be a thing. Uh, now, the Emancipation Proclamation did not free all slaves outright, but it did free a large, mm, a small majority of slaves in the Union because there were still slaves in the Union. That was a fact, which is a sad thing, but it wasn't all. There weren't many slaves in the Union, but there still were. Um, but after the uh, Civil War um, in 1865, the 13th Amendment, it, it was passed. And it was, this, it was this big deal because the 13th Amendment was such a hard amendment to write and get signed. I mean, it went through so much trial and error because... Lincoln had to be so careful on his wording with how this amendment was going to be passed because one slip up could create a loophole and then there could be slavery all over again. So he had to think of a way just to outlaw slavery in general, no exceptions, um, which he did do. And when it was passed in 1865, all slavery was gone. Indentured slaves, slavery, it it just was a thing of the past. Now, that didn't mean racism and discrimination was gone, but it did get rid of all slavery. Um, and which was interesting because there was a Supreme Court case in 1902, Bailey versus Alabama, where Bailey was a black African-American man who was working for a company um, and he quit in a month. He was getting paid $12 an hour and he was doing a good job. So they raised it to 15. They gave him $15. He quit right when they gave him that 15. Um, but the company was like, hey, you can't do that. You can't just walk off with these $15 and like give it back to us and you'll be fine. And he was like, no, this is my money. I want this money. They went to court for it. And in Alabama law um, at the time, there was for the money that he took, he would have to pay it off in work, getting no paid at all. And Supreme, and it went all the way up to the Supreme Court, and Supreme Court was like, no, this is slavery. This is an indentured slave. You're working off to pay off debt. That is a form of slavery. And they took it very seriously, where they were like, no, you cannot do this. So Bailey pretty much walked off with the $15 that he was given, and the company was given nothing in return.